what's up guys this is network ninja back again with another video in the last video we have unboxed sophos xg firewall in this video we are going to set it up with a basic configuration i have power on the firewall and connected my laptop to the lan port out of the box sophos firewall has an ip interface of 172.16.16.16 on the lan port also Sophos firewall provides DHCP on the LAN port. You can access the web interface of the firewall on port 4444. As you can see here, I am using Google Chrome browser and I will be entering the LAN IP address of the firewall which is 172.16.16.16 .16 on port 4444. It will give me a self-signed certificate error. You can go ahead and accept the certificate by clicking on proceed to the IP address. After that, you will see the welcome screen of Sophos Firewall. You can click the checkbox to accept the terms and condition and start setup. It will start the basic configuration where it will force you to set up the admin password. Make sure you satisfy all the password requirement to set up the password. Next, you can check the checkbox to install the latest firmware. In this case, I don't have internet connection connected, so I will uncheck this box for now. Click on continue to proceed with the configuration. Next window is to set up the WAN information. As I said before, I don't have internet connection connected, but we will see how to configure the WAN port on the Sophos firewall. Click on the manual configuration. It will bring another pop-up window. You have two options to configure the WAN interface dynamic IP address or static IP address. If your ISP is providing a DHCP, you can select dynamic IP address. If you have a static IP information for your WAN internet connection, use static IP address. I'm gonna cancel for now since I don't have it connected and will proceed with continue offline mode. On the next screen, you can set up the firewall name and the time zone. For the firewall name, I'm going to use lab1 and for the time zone, I will be using America, New York. Press continue on the next screen. You will be seeing the licensing information. Since we haven't registered the firewall, we will be getting a one month of evaluating licensing. You can also opt for the customer experience improvement program. In this case, I'm going to uncheck it and press continue. On the next screen, we can configure the management port on the firewall. I'm going to leave it default and press continue. As I mentioned before, the LAN port of the firewall comes pre-configured with a DHCP. This is the place you can change the LAN IP address of the firewall, whatever you want, and also configure DHCP for that interface. In this case, I'm going to leave it default and press continue. The next window will allow you to pre-configure some network protection features. I'm going to go with the default. If you want, you can enable it and press continue. The next window allows you to set up notification email addresses for sender and the receiver. It also allows to send weekly backup configuration with encrypted passwords. You can set it up here if you want uh, weekly backups with an encryption. Uh, in this case, I will be unchecking this box and just setting up the email addresses. and press continue. The next window provides a summary of all the configuration we did so far. Make sure you review the configuration and click finish. After clicking on the finish button, the firewall will apply the configuration and will reboot. It will take some time for the firewall to come back online. I will open a command prompt and start pinging the LAN IP address of the firewall to make sure it is back online. As you can see, we lost the pings, that means the firewall is rebooting. We will wait for it to come back online. Okay, the firewall started responding to pings, that means the firewall is online. We will try to log into the firewall with the password we set during the configuration. As you can see, we can successfully log into the firewall. 
as you know we don't have a WAN connection connected to this firewall. I will check this box that I do not want to register now and continue. If you have internet connection please go ahead and register the firewall. I will be covering the firewall registration process in the upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. As you can see we have logged in to the main dashboard of the firewall. When you log into the firewall first time it will ask you to set up the security storage master key. The secure storage master key is used while backing up and importing the configuration to the firewall. Make sure to use a unique password and document it properly. To set up the secure storage key enter on create key and enter the password fulfilling all the password requirements. Then click create key. That's it, you have successfully completed the basic setup of Sofos XG firewalls. In the next upcoming videos, we will be going over all the features in detail of Sofos XG firewall. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Till then, bye bye. I will see you in the next one.